I just recorded this and I didn't actually record it. So what's up guys? How's it going? Today's video is going to be a review and demo of the Greco Travel Dome Pack and Play. Oh my gosh, the amount of times I've said that. Greco Travel Dome Pack and Play. I don't, is that even what it's called? I don't know. I'm going to put what it's called, obviously, in the title when I Google it after. I'll link it down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Obviously, I'm going to show you how to take it apart, put it back together, all the different pieces that it comes with, all the different uses for all the different pieces, and let you know how it's been working for me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Amy, and I have a seven-month-old. Her name is Luna, and she's... A little tiny little angel she's the best thing in the world so um yeah without further ado because i filmed this intro six different times let's just get into the video all right so this is what it looks like this is uh what it looks like right now as you can see it has all of her toys and stuff not all of them but it's filled with toys and it is um currently on like the lowest level that i could possibly be at um so yeah i'm just gonna take this apart and uh i'll meet you guys back when it's uh taken apart Okay, so now that it's empty, I'm gonna take the um, mat out. So this is what it looks like empty. There's a mat down there and it has a cover on it and then under the cover it has a bunch of blankets. I'll show you. All right, so this is a waterproof pack and play sheet. I can link it down below, but I keep this on top because in case she has a blowout, I like to have something waterproof because um, I don't want her poop on that. So um, I keep a bunch of blankets, one, two, three blankets under that sheet. I'm actually not gonna be doing that anymore after I take these off right now. So I'm done with those for now. But the reason why I did that before is because this was not very soft. And when she was younger, she used to nap on this and I just felt like it wasn't comfortable enough. So I put some squishy blankets underneath the sheet so it was like a mattress topper kind of because uh they don't make mattress toppers for babies well they do but not for the pack and play well they might but they're really expensive so i made my own all right so this is the mat that it comes with and um as you can see it folds and then as you can see here it clips so you kind of slip this through Ugh. done and done so now that that's there let me bring you guys closer oh my god so as you can see we have an empty pack and play i keep this storage bag this is where you put the pack and play once it's folded i keep it underneath so we're just gonna put that to the side if you are trying to pick it up and pack it up and take it on the go all you need to do is read the instructions it says pull a strap to fold so Oh my god, it's gonna fold. There's one thing you need to do though. There's two buttons on the sides of these like big ones and you need to press them before you do this. Before you collapse them I should say. So this button right here, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. And then there's one on the side too. So now that that's done, you're just gonna pull this all together. Hmm. You guys? Oh yeah, these ones go, these ones collapse too. I'm like, I just Googled this. Uh, <laughs> what the hell okay so now that we are all folded like so guess what we're gonna do ow i just pinched myself be careful guys sorry i'm such a mess i'm gonna move this stuff out of the way all right we're just gonna put this in there just like that very nice sleep okay and then we can take this bag and uh bag him up okay like so um, Okay, so now she's all packed up. So that's just the pack and play like gym. There are quite a few other pieces. Let me grab them. It comes with this. I'll show you how to clip this on when we unpack her, but it comes with this. Also comes with this. Now this you can actually, this is like an elevator. Not an elevator, but it elevates the mattress. So we can call it an elevator. This makes the play mattress that I just folded here higher up in the crib. And I'll show you how that works too, but it does fold and fit into this bag too. But since we're not using this anymore, I do, I, I'm obviously not gonna pack it with me wherever I'm going, but has these bars, you just take them apart. You can also fit this on the inside of this bag in between these, this um, board, you can fit this in there. So, and I believe if you try really hard, you can fit this in there too, but uh, so extra, don't do that. Okay, moving on. It also comes with this travel dome bassinet i'm gonna show you what this looks like when i put it all back together i guess i'll leave this here it 
comes with this. This is the last piece that it comes with. A changing table. You do need to assemble this yourself. These feet, when you buy this, these feet are outside of this uh, case. So you just need to like connect them in. It's kind of complicated, so you're gonna have to follow the instructions. But this is what it looks like when it's put together. So those are all of the pieces for the pack and play broken up and broken down and that is uh that's what it looks like all broken down all right so let's put this bad larry back together and this time i'm gonna set it up like for a new board like how i had it set up when i first got this pack and play that's how i'm gonna set it up right now so To set it up, it's really quite simple. You need to put it back like so, so with a red tab up in the center. And then you're gonna hold on to the two outside ones and pull up at the same time. And then you're gonna hold on to these two ones and pull up at the same time. And then this, you just push it down like that. I'm gonna make it so it's for a newborn how I first had it. All right, so we're gonna take this netting. See what it looks like? All right, so there's our rectangle. So now that we have that, I'm going to take these two pieces and just uh, put them together. Can you see? No, take these pieces and put them together. So I'm gonna take these two pieces and put them together. Voila, basic camping skills. All right, so this has little hooks on it. It should be pretty obvious how to place this in. You're going to um, clip, 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 and clip. Just like that. And you're gonna go around and do that to all of the sides until all the clips are in the bar. Okay, so there's four clips on the long sides and then two clips on the short sides. There we go, we have a stable little uh, elevator layer place. All right, so then we're gonna take our mattress okay and that goes there perfect do you see how much higher it is from before do you see okay and now i'm going to take this changing table okay and we're going to um just snap rent let me show you what i'm doing over here let me bring you on over it's really very simple put this and this in these holes there you go very nice sturdy dirty a little bit there you go all right let me show you the uh travel dome comes in this travel bag and so i'm just gonna unzip it and show you how to uh, do it because that's the whole point of this video so this is what she looks like i'll fold it up okay there's these two pieces it's really hard to do this on not a flat surface so we're gonna do it right here all right so what i did i just pulled these two um pieces out these ones and i just set it down right here and then you're going to what are you going to do let me uh, zoom you in. There's a little hole on this red tab. Can you see that hole right there? And then when you pull this tab back, it exposes the little stick that the hole goes on top of. Does that, do you see that? Do you see that? And then there you go. You're gonna do that on every side. Lift the tab, find the stick and place it. And that is the travel dome. This goes up and Velcro's here. Velcro's here, and voila. We're gonna place this bad Larry right there. Right there. So as you can see, on the back, there's this tab, okay? And then there's also one on the front. You're just gonna grab the tab and just uh, snap it right in there. This should just snap right in. Wait, you guys, am I stupid? Am I stupid? No, I'm not stupid. Am I stupid? No, I'm not stupid. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's what she looks like. She really is a beauty. Oh, let me show you the one last piece. This little holder. How, why is this binky everywhere? This little holder goes right here. Hooks right on to the side. So you can pretty much put it, you can put it wherever you want, but I, obviously it makes the most sense to put it where you change diapers. So that's where I had it. But to be honest, I never really used this because my wipes didn't really fit in here. You know, I kept like diaper rash cream in here, but like diapers didn't fit in here. Wipes didn't fit in here. So I didn't really use it, but it is a great little storage contraption. So yeah, basically this worked for us until maybe she was like four months. She stopped fitting in here. She took quite a few naps in here, but we co-sleep. So we never really used it that much. There's 
there's supposed to be another star right here. I don't know where it went, but there's, oh, there it is. Okay. The reason why we got this one is because it had this. I thought that this would be really great in the picture online. It says that you can like take this out and take them to the park in it. And like, you know, they can be outside with this. It's a travel dome. This is the travel dome part of the pack and play. Um, You can also take it off, you know, put it downstairs or like any other room in the house. Yeah, this was really great actually. She slept pretty good in this. I'm not gonna lie. She slept pretty well. She likes these stars a lot. This comes down to to make it easier to take the baby in and out. And then when they grow out of this, you can take it off like so. And the baby can nap right here. We only did that for like maybe one month. And then after a while, I just didn't like having this on here. I don't know. I just felt like I needed a separate changing table from her sleeping area. Like I just felt like it was going to be better. So we I have this changing table now. It's pretty easy to take off. You just press these little buttons. So then we had it like this for a while. And to be honest, this came off really early on. It was just in the way. But to be honest, we had her like this until like, I want to say three weeks ago because she started being able, she started like pulling on the sides and being able to like lift herself a little bit. But I used to do this. She never really slept in this. Like I said, she sleeps on our bed, but I used to put her bobby right here and sit her right here and then put her toys here. She would sit in here for like 30, 40 minutes, just play with all her toys. So we loved that. And then obviously when she started being able to climb, we lowered it and to lower it, very simple. Kind of, I showed you in the beginning, but you just take this out, pull these off, and then disconnect these poles, and you just put this right back in there, just like so. So we still have her play in here, I still put her toys in here, and it's really great. I pull it away from the walls a little bit, and I just put her in here. She leaps forward, she rolls around. She'll stay in here for about 20 minutes and play, like she, she likes it a lot. So that's it, you guys. If I had to rate this, I would definitely give it a um, nine and a half out of 10. I would recommend getting a mattress hopper or some type of crib mattress or just something to make it a little bit more comfortable because it's not very comfortable. Like you can put blankets underneath the sheet like I did. I think it's priced at like, uh, like $1.99, but there was a mistake in my Bye Bye Baby coupon book and it was priced at $1.09 in the coupon book. And then I went to go buy it online because I was like, wow, it's a great price. I went to go buy it online and it was $1.99. So I called and I was like, listen, it says $1.09 in the coupon book for $1.99 online. How do I get it for $1.09? Because that's what it says on coupon book. And so she gave it to me for $1.09. So we got it for a really great price. This is definitely more expensive compared to other pack and plays, other similar play gyms. There are a lot of them out there on the market. Um, you don't need to spend $200 on one. And the only reason why we got this one was because we got a discount on it, like a big discount, like half off. So that's why we ended up going with it because it was the one that we wanted and it just happened to be mismarked in the coupon book. So we lucked out with this for sure. Would I spend $200? on this no I would not I would not spend $200 on this but like I said $100 I think it's a great deal. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I helped some of you guys out. Some of you either who are looking for a pack and play to buy and doing research, or if you bought this yourself and don't know how to put it together, hopefully I helped you figure it out a little bit. I don't know, hopefully I helped somebody out today. If there's any other products you guys want me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.